Stanley and Ian had two sets of questions to choose from for the final. Set A or set B, you have selected set... <laughs> pretty sure it was B. You're pretty sure it was B? Pretty sure. Which means, of course, Jenny the Vixen Ryan gets set A. Two of you have made it through to the final. It means you get a two-step head start on the chaser. There it is. These questions will come at you much quicker than the cash build around. I wish you luck. Your time starts now. What cuisine does the Carluccio's restaurant chain serve? Ian. Italian. Correct. The Mexican red knee is a species of what large spider? Ian. Tarantula. Correct. A lover's complaint is a poem by which famous playwright? Ian. Shakespeare. Correct. Which Monty Python member played Jack Lint in the film Brazil? Ian. Michael Palin. Correct. A SIM card is used in what device? Ian. A telephone. A Correct. Phone. Prontissimo is an instant brand of what hot drink? Ian. Coffee. Correct. Which Frenchman flew from Calais to Dover, 1909? Stanley. Blerio. Correct. Which role doll character imprisons children in the chokey? Um... Uh, pass. Ian. Pass. Trunchbull. What nationality was the Allo Allo character hair flick? Ian. German. Correct. VP is a term for what political office? Vice President. Stanley. That's a pre-buzzer answer. What is the young of a penguin usually called? Ian. Pass. Chick. Saganak is a fried cheese dish from what European country? Ian. Greece. Correct. How many sides does a parallelogram have? Stanley. Four. Correct. 1969, who did Yoko Ono marry in Gibraltar? Ian. John Lennon. Correct. In The Legend of Zelda video games, what animal is Epona? Ian. Uh, horse. Correct. Oh. Konkani is a language mainly spoken on what continent? Stanley. Africa. Asia. What is the second letter of the word cholera? Ian. H. Correct. The perfume 15 minutes is inspired by which pop artist? Ian. Beyonce. Andy Warhol. Which African leader was born in Ethiopia, 1892? Stanley. Highly Celeste. Correct. And which of the Enigma variations is named after a biblical hunter? Ian. Pass. Nimrod. Chlorinated water has been treated with what halogen element? Ian. Glory. Correct. Inventory numbers of what London Art Museum begin with NG? <laughs> that would be in the National Gallery. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well done, Stan. All got right, look. 17. That's yeah. good. That's good. OK, so I couldn't give you VP, Vice President, because you actually spoke before you pressed the buzzer. Having said that, you've got 17, which I think is very, very good. You're going to need a couple of pushbacks, but I'd say you're three light. All right. Chaser, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Some good knowledge on display there. They yeah. might punish me if I let them in for pushbacks. Absolutely. All right. Now, don't forget, if the Vixen gets a question wrong and then Stanley and Ian get it right, they push the chaser back one step. It is now time for the final chase. <laughs> chaser, your time starts now. Pam is short for what female name? Pamela. Correct. What ITV sitcom is set at the all-inclusive Solana Hotel? Benidorm. Correct. Which Kardashian sister released the perfume BFF? Kim. Correct. Who was on the throne when George VI was born? Victoria. Correct. An octavirate is a council of how many people? Eight. Correct. In the Bible, Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of what? Salt. Correct. Children's TV character Mr Bloom has what job? Gardner. Correct. Let the Sunshine In is a song from what musical? Hair. Correct. Uh, Fevrier is French for what month? February. Correct. European Burmese is a breed of what domestic pet? Cat. Correct. Which English city is Littlewood's building located? Liverpool. Correct. What was the title of Russell Brand's first autobiography? My Bookie Wook. Correct. What TV genre is the focus of the magazine Inside Soap? Soap operas. Correct. How is the actress Maria Farrow better known? Mia Farrow. Correct. The poppy is the symbol of what major British charity? The British Legion. Correct. The which poet wrote Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night? Dylan Thomas. Correct. Madchester was a music scene based in what city? Manchester. Correct. 